Hey, what's going on, nerds? Skeleton Jim, and it is more Hungarian Havoc here in Hearts Rain 4. Got to get used to saying that one. That's a little bit new. And uh, we are in the process of being a non aligned world power. That's what I'm going to call it. The only problem is that our treaty is really crippling us. So we got to get rid of that thing in a hope to kind of try to become, you know, great again, I guess. Because uh, our limiting re reagent right now is uh, it's manpower. It really is. So I think after we get the Von Habsburg Prince going, I think we move towards the Blood Agreement more. All right. More guns. We can also get some Mountaineers. That would probably be good. Let's get improved machine tools. Get our efficiency up. And we just need more factories right now. We only got five working on this. Which is not great. Not great at all. Wow, Amelia Earhart disappeared too. We can modify the government. Captain of Industry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay, Japan declared war. Japanese build up on the Chinese border. Yep. Ooh. Otto assumes the Hungarian crown. In search of a suitable king, the Kingdom of Hungary extended an invitation to Otto von Habsburg to return to the lands that were until recently ruled by his family. Otto, who has lived in exile throughout Western Europe since the end of the Great War and the dissolution of his father's empire, chose to accept the offer. Today, amidst much fanfare and celebration, he was crowned King of Hungary in a solemn ceremony at the Royal Palace in Budapest. During his coronation speech, King Otto thanked the Hungarian people for their loyalty and devotion and vowed to see Habsburg lands reunited once more, promising that this time Hungary would be dominant, be the dominant constituent part. No longer a kingdom in name only. Neat. We got ourselves a king, boys. All right. Japan declared war on China. <laughs> yes. Who would have guessed? Is it construction going? Chinese fronts are united. Same ruling party. A deal with the devil. What is this? Oh. He might actually be going communist. Wait, didn't you just ally Poland and now you're, like, trying to ally Soviet Union? You know those things are mutually exclusive, right? What is Germany doing? Treaty with the USSR. Okay. So he's doing the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. It's fine with me. We got Otto here. Hi, Otto. We can do partial. Why can I do this? Oh, one of the following must be true. Yeah, let's do that, dude. All right, we have uh, mobilized partially.
Oh my god. Okay. Uh, United Kingdom exerts influence in Turkey. The Mediterranean has long been a region of strategic value. Blah, blah, blah. Now the British government is looking for further support from the countries in the region. Okay. Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia claims Bulgaria, citing the foundations on, <laughs> of their nation as a union of the South Slav people. Okay. And Italy announces claims on Yugoslavian ter territory. Amazing. He is not aligned as well. What is Hitler doing? Air innovations. Huh. I kind of want to demand referendum, but I'm not going to. Oh, this is new. Apparently you can speed up the rate at which you convert. We should get radio. Unlike last time, where we never got radio. I just don't want to be Anschluss. I'm scared of Anschlussing. No one's gonna, like, defend me? My manpower is, like, real low. just like tell you guys to, like stand in my ground troops are a little bit more important even though I told you guys low equipment priority Zog submits to Italy I'm gonna try it. I do not want to be Anschlussed, but I will try it. All right, we finished our land doctor. We also got, um, cars. No. What did we get? I've already forgotten. Oh, God. should work on developing the anti-tank, which is unusual for me, I'm aware. We should also work on getting better guns.
I mean, technically we could make a faction, but I'd rather not. Shadow scheme. Alright, they did Pax Americana. Referendum succeeds. Shortly after midnight, Kurt uh, Shushnig announced that the Austrian people had voted for a union with Hungary. A telegram had arrived, formally offering Otto von Habsburg the crown of Austria and a first step to revive the double monarchy. We've done it, boys. We are now, like, a line. So, what did that do for us? Well, it gave us a bunch of factories. Wow, this guy had, like, way more troops than I would have expected. Sure. It's going very fast. Uh, at the end... Insistence of the Hungarians, Austria has carried out a referendum on the possible reunification of the nations. Yes, we just read this. The German tanks. It scares me. Alright, let's try getting rid of this stupid thing. some exercise and we have free military factories yeah now we're starting to get constructing still have low manpower though All right, so I want to see what happens when Ianch loses. Oh, you guys are both red. Well, that's not going to work for me. Now you are orange. Get over there, horsey. We have nothing going on for diplomacy.
very, I'm very curious. It's probably just gonna be the same, and I'm just gonna like give him the land. What is this? Aiming to redefine the power balance in the Mediterranean, Italy has been making uh, political overtures towards the creation of a new alliance in the region. Largely military in nature, the Novus Imperium Romanum will, in the words of Benito Mussolini, pay, place Italy at the center of the new world power. Oh. Wait, what? I, okay. I guess it does nothing. That is weird. I mean, they get a core. Yeah, they have cores now. So now they have strategic interests not to be... Okay, this makes our stuff core. Interesting. I want my research slot, though. Okay, well, I guess we still have some time. Yeah, I know. Start on our Mountaineers. Okay. Just hit the microphone a little. Don't worry about that. We need more stuff. They hold our core provinces. Yeah. I mean, like, whatever, man. He's still giving me stuff, though, so... Pretty hyped about that. Not sure if the, uh... Research slot was the way to go. Kind of a little bit regretting the decision, but I guess it's fine. Well, I'm glad I didn't immediately die. Italy lays claims to the Greek territory. Wow, Italy declared war on Greece. Damn, dude. Are you at war? Oh, 
Oh, you were guaran you're guaranteeing Greece, aren't you? Interesting. I want to get some more land doctrine. Where do I want anti-air? Where do I want a tank? There's so many good choices. All right. Let's try to get rid of this stuff. We have more factories. Your artillery is the only thing that we're lacking right now. Alright, you still got some more factories going? That's good. Should also probably... Reinforce our line up here. All right, Molotov Ribbentrop pack is the thing. Uh, we're almost at max political power. How are we doing? We're kind of doing it. You train those boys up good. France has banned communism. Small-scale secret rearmament will not suffice. We must reach out to our neighbor and request ready redress of the treaty imposed on us after the Great War. Hungary has an equal right to armament. That's right. We do. Look at all our factories. Plus, we got Austria now. Everybody loves Austria. Okay, you're going to demand Sudetenland. The fourth international. How many internationals will there be? I wonder if that's going to mess up my national focus. We demand that. Alright, let's go down. Speed. We should be getting like an event, I would think.
Let's reestablish this. Where's our event? We have managed to secure Romanian support for the partial revision of the Treaty of Trianon. All restrictions on our military have been removed. The international arms inspectors have left the country, and the war ministry has drawn up initial plans for a modest expansion of our armed forces. Sweet, dude. Yugoslavia issues note of protest. The Yugoslavian ambassador has tra transmitted the following note. The government of Yugoslavia is watching the recent developments in Kingdom of Hungary with grave concern. The Treaty of Tri Trianon has long been a guarantee for peace and stability in the region. While the Yugoslavian government accepts in principle that nations should be permitted to choose their own destiny, we must urge the government of Kingdom of Hungary in the greatest, stro the strongest possible terms to abide by the treaty. The consequences of destabilization Destabilizing the region any further could very quickly become uncontrollable. Well, fuck you, Yugoslavia. Do what I want. Baranchuk. I don't see you out here having no manpower. Hmm. Could get radio towers. I feel like it's time to maybe start thinking about tanks. Maybe. need a couple more towed artillery. Kind of good on guns right now. What's going to happen when we demand Sudetenland? We do have a fair amount of army experience. I'm assuming these are all Austrians. Artillery. Da -da. Two point five years. Dun, dun, dun. We probably want a field hospital. Let's see what happens with Sudanland. Okay. So he's demanded Sudanland. Ooh, infantry. Mm. 
You will train as well. We're out of manpower again. We'll go up to volunteer only. Baranchuk. All right, we started on the uh, fort. like breaking my brain right now. All right, I'm going to take a break here. In the next episode, we will continue trying to be Austria-Hungary. It's going okay so far. Finally got some manpower, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, I do think that maybe for right now, this should be the last one. At least until we get, you know, a little bit back on our feet here, manpower wise. As always though, if you enjoyed the video, make sure that you leave a like. If you had a comment, make sure you leave a comment. And uh, if you want to see more in the future, then subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.